Uh, Maria, can you talk about uh, when you hit with Rafa the other day, how did that come about and what was it like? Um, well, I saw that he was practicing on, on the court right before me and I I said to my team, I was like, God, wouldn't it be amazing if I just came up to Rafa and said, would you hit a couple of balls with me? And they're like, yeah, what's wrong with that? And I was like, a lot of things. <laughs> There's a lot of things wrong with just coming up to Rafa. <laughs> Um, and they're like, no, you should. And I was like, really? You think I should? And so I did. And he was like, yeah. Probably thought I was really weird. <laughs> I think he still thinks I'm really weird. <laughs> you, you, I'm sure you've been on a court after Rafa before in your life. So what made this the right moment to, to pop the question? I was like, well, one... All right, well, let's not... Let's not get crazy. Actually, that's what they said. They're like, you're not, it's not like you're asking him to go on a date. You're just asking him to hit a couple of balls with you. I was like, listen, you've got to hit a couple of balls with, with Rafa on clay. You know, it's like a check on the bucket list. Definitely. Here he comes, young Nadal. We'll just let him emerge into the spotlight and the applause. I, mean, I think, I don't think it'd be a stretch uh, by any means to compare you know, Rafa and Roger to Pete and Andre in their prime. Um, you know, if anything, they've been more consistently dominant during this last, you know, four, three or four year stretch. So, uh, you know, he, he's, been, he's been playing great. Like the fear of failure. The next is the fear of success. That's one of the major challenges I had to deal with. I was working on a major project and after it began to grow and it was extremely successful, I panicked. And I walked away from it and gave it to someone else because I didn't believe that I could handle it. Whatever you've done up to this point in time, your life is working. Whatever you have produced, it came out of you as a result of the kind of person that you have become. I mean, I've been around a lot of great tennis players, you know, the Creek, the Chang, the, you know, the, the Hewitt. They're, they're small body guys, or small body guys. This guy's a horse, you know? And so what he does to drive himself, he drives himself hard. He's like Andy, his will, you know, to, I'm getting this ball. There's no, I'm, I'm in, and stop on a dime and just, he, he punishes himself, you know, with that determination. And I think you come, you know, basically out of the shooter that way. You know, you can't teach that. That's something that you come out, you have this desire, this will, this this need to want to succeed at all costs. And he has that. And that's what makes him great. That's what great champions are when you go down with the Mac, Connors, Borg, uh, Wendell. Will not be denied. Uh, he's, he's special. Rafa rules in Monte Carlo for an unprecedented 11th time. Well, Rafa, congratulations. You stood here with your 11th Rolex Monte Carlo Masters 1000 title. Describe your emotions right now. Well, uh, difficult now. It's so special for me to have this trophy with me again. Uh, it's a feeling that not easy to describe, especially coming back from injuries. And he goes on to say, I like a state of continual becoming with a goal in front and oh, not behind. Oh, look at that. That is majestic from Nadal. The eye is definitely in now. And he has won eight of the first ten points in this second set. Rafael Nadal became the first player to win a tournament 11 times. Now he's done it again on home ground. Rafa Nadal victorious once again. We did it in Monte Carlo and now here in Barcelona. It's something really amazing. We will never see that again, so we have to enjoy it. up in years and he said you know that's real great motivation for you young guys but I've done all my work there's nothing else for me to do I said oh yes you've got a lot to give you have a lot to offer the fact that you're still here means that your business is not through yet <laughs>